All right, Shalom. Uh, first of all, I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to my apostles, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, pushing out this word and true sincerity. All right, it's your brother Chanak coming to you with another lesson. All right, this is uh, April 24, 2020, year of prophecy. Prophecies are, you know, springing off the pages. Uh, we're in a we're in a government lockdown through this coronavirus. Esau he's censoring, you know. Certain times when I do videos, Esau he'll cut off the video. You know if I you know if I'm talking about, you know the coronavirus or I'm saying certain key words, I can see that he'll cut the video out. Especially when I go, when I do the live stream. And put the video up. So he he knows you know he he knows that uh. You know that we know what he's doing yet he with his pride he's going to you know think that he's going to be able to accomplish what he's uh you know put his heart to and that is this new order okay now this this lesson that i'm gonna do is more of a, a open form i didn't have a particular topic that i wanted to speak about but you know i was meditating on within the last you know two days about how Esau you know and, and you know precepts come to my mind and I was thinking about certain things and interactions with people you know uh you know interactions with my family and I was seeing how Esau he has the whole world scared okay primarily I'm speaking about uh America because America has really never experienced anything like this before you know these other countries they've been on lockdown before they, you know, they experience martial law. They experience, you know, a war. Okay, in their radius. Okay, they have people die, you know, of you know, diseases within their family. You know, they they've suffered. You know, but you Americans, you have not suffered. So any little, any little adversity, you start to break down. And I see how Esau, he has you Americans scared of this coronavirus. Okay, he has everybody wearing masks. Okay, my grandmother, she, she texted me earlier. She been texting me a lot, you know, which that that's uh, that's something new. Ever since this coronavirus, you know, thing, you know, they're saying that she was saying that you know, Esau saying that uh, the coronavirus can be in the soles of your feet, you know. So he, <laughs> this damn devil man. He he's not stopping. He ain't gonna stop. He's not gonna stop. He's gonna use this as a catalyst to push his new world order, his agenda. Let me bring this out. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. So we're we're in the time of woe. Which that woe is meaning is 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 meaning sorrows and destruction. Okay, perilous times. We're in we're in the beginning of uh, uh, of sorrows, okay? And you see how Esau is slowly, you know, um, squeezing you. Now the elder uh, Manatza, uh, he did a, a, a series about uh, constrict, like the the boa constrictor. He was going into that, you know, how you know that snake. If you were, you know, there's two different types of snakes. There's snakes that use venom, and then there's snakes that use constriction. And basically, Esau, he's He's using, you know, his means of witchcraft by constricting, constricting you people slowly and slowly. And best believe you, you know, these these plagues are going to come in one after another. You know, I was just thinking about that, you know, not too long ago. I'm like, yeah, the Lord, he ain't going to he ain't, he's not going to let up. All right. He has his prophets out there, which he has his prophets out there right now as we speak too. OK. You know, let me uh, I want to bring out a scripture. Give me a second. Because <laughs> even though, you know, there's all, you know, I mean, it's clear to see what's going on. Yet we we understand Yah Basham Shai, he has blinded the minds of the people. And these people are genuinely scared. And this is what's going to drive them to take. The mark. This is what's going to drive them to take um, uh, uh, the vaccine. 
Okay. Uh, I wanted to. Yep, this is Second Peter three and three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Now here it is, Esau. He's setting up a siege. He got the the military, you know, in these different states ready, you know, ready, you know, for orders. You know, he has this COVID nineteen going around. He has people with masks on. You know, we're seeing uh, famines. You know, Esau's telling you that th there could be famines to, uh, you know, biblical proportions. Prior, you know, simultaneously while this was going on, you have a food shortage over there in Africa because of the locust sw swarms. Okay, you also have uh, riots in different places in the world as well as protests here in the United States. Okay, so we can go in, you know, one after another of these prophecies coming to pass. And we're making it plain unto you, showing you out of the scriptures. Yet look what the scriptures say. Second Peter 3 and 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Are we not in the last days? We're, we're at the end of the last days. We're at the, 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 the very end. Okay, in our lifetime, very soon. It could be this year. It could be next year. Okay. We have, we, we're going to have the patience, you know, Lord, uh, Lord's will, Yabash Mashai willing. He gives us that patience of Job. Okay. And you know what? I was, uh, let me, I want to cue that patience of Job. I'm just going to read what it has here in, um, when I type in patience of Job, because I was thinking about doing a lesson on that, because that's something that we have to, you know, embody is the patience. Because this man going to do a lot of shit, man. You already seen that he's making it mandatory to wear face masks. Then he's going to say you got to wear gloves. Then he's going to say, you know, you're going to have to get your temperature checked, uh, you know, before you go to work. Then it's going to be, okay, you're going to have to have a vaccine. You're going to have to have electronic ID. Then he's just going to come out and tell you, hey, look, I'm going to put a chip in you to track you. All right. You're going to do it or you are you you're going to be ostracized from society and it's going to come to a point where he's going to lock you up. OK, so that's the point. That's that's the road we're headed on. OK. Let me just bring this. I'm going to go hit some other scriptures again. I just want to read this. Uh, let me see. Yes, yeah, so I'm in a, uh, the free dictionary dot com. It's a, this. This is an idiom. Right. But this is taken right out of the scriptures. When you read and understand the, uh, the story of Job, our forefather, that was placed in the scriptures. Uh, Romans 15 and four, the things written the fourth time were written for our learning. Through patience, let me, you know what, let me cue that up, excuse me, let me cue that up after I read this, okay, because that goes directly what we're, you know, what we're going into, and how these scriptures are going to give us that stability, okay, while, while people are, you know, confused, they're in a state of awestruck, you know, they're scared, they, these people are genuinely scared of this coronavirus, which I'm not going to even go into if it's real or not, or, you know, we should are you should already know what the hell is going on, okay? You should you 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 should know what this man is planning to do. Now this is uh, in a free dictionary dot com. It's an idiom. It says to have a, a to have okay the patience of Job to have an immense and unyielding degree of patience and conviction, especially in the face of problems or difficulty. OK, because we're coming into a time of problems and difficulty. You see how the majority of people in the United States are, you know, financially strapped. A lot of small businesses, they're done. A lot of people have been laid off of their job. And the only thing that they can, uh, you know, account on is, you know, a stimulus check, which that's going to run out. OK, as well as, you know, more draconian laws are going to be implemented to where he this is going to be a full lockdown police state all right esau is going to have this place locked down okay he 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 can possibly release some real shit okay in the water in the test kits okay just to get you people even more frightened you know of this coronavirus this covid 19 all right which esau he's sloppy we see what he's doing 
we see exactly what this man is doing. He's sloppy. The Lord, he gave us that, 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 um, you know, those eyes to see what this man, you know, his, this, this dude, this dude's next move. We know that the end game is for him to lock down the whole world and for him to implement and force you to take that RFID microchip. So we know everything that he pushes, okay, is leading into that direction. We know every time this man pushes something super heavy in his media, we know that he's behind it. All right, we know, we know and understand that this man, he's been playing this from the jump. Now, you know, he's taking big steps to where everybody can see this shit. Okay, you go on YouTube, you see different videos of Bill Gates speaking about, you know, the vaccines. And all I see is negative comments. I don't really see too many uh, good comments. I see, you know, people saying they're not going to take it. Okay, now, whether, you know, they are or not, that, that's, that's uh, you know. That's to be seen. But I do know Esau is going to put pure hell on you. Okay. To where you're going to have no option to take that. Yet we are going to display the patience of Job. Let me read this again. To have an immense and unyielding degree of patience and conviction. Because we know Yah Basham Shai is going to destroy this man. All right. All right. Uh, especially in the face of problems or difficulty. A reference to the biblical fi figure Job. Whose absolute faith in Yah Basham Shah remained unshaken despite the numerous afflictions set upon him, his family, and and his estate by Satan. So Satan, well, let me go back to the scriptures I was reading. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. Now the devil is speaking about Esau Edom, okay, and his beast structure, his beast system. Okay, now Satan, when you go into the the, uh, the book of Job, you know, Satan plagued them, but we know that Satan is a spiritual entity, and Satan is going to work through his physical counterpart on the planet Earth, okay, which is Esau Edom, uh, chiefly. Now Satan can jump on your family, J Satan can jump on Israelites. So that's going to be part of, you know, the tribulation of the men of the Lord. You, you know, your woman might take the chip. Your, your kids might take the chip. All right. But if you understand the patience of Job, th that was all given back to Job a hundredfold. In the, and we're going to receive all those things in the kingdom of heavens. We just have to con we just have to continue and have that unyielding faith in Yahweh Basham al -Shai, Despite the, you know, the mishaps or, you know, things that can happen to us. Because we're in that time where Esau is going to possibly, you know, break down your door. You know, you kick down your door, say, you know, you're on an FBI one list. You're, they're watching us. They're, they're listening and they're watching to listening and watching everything. All right. And believe you, he still has that demonized campaign that he's going to push. Remember that. Remember, he tried that a couple months back where he was, you know, he had the Israelites in the uh, in the news. He's going to do the same thing. Oh, look, they're not they're not adhering to, you know, the different protocols that we're pushing out. You know, they're they're not, you know, wearing masks They're They don't have the vaccine. They don't want to take the chip. OK. I'm back in Revelation having great wrath because he know that he has but a short time. Esau Edom, he sees the chariots. He sees the, the spirit being placed back on the Israelites. So the Lord, he has it in this man's mind, OK, to push his agenda. OK, and he's he's going to be uh, like a madman. Sparing none, OK, because he wants to implement this. And if you're not part, he, he's done talking with you. OK, he's done. He's done, you know, with the little witchcraft, you know, the little enchantments. Now nah, he's going to come force you. Hey, look, this is what you want to do. If you don't want to do it, I'm going to chop your head off. All right. It's going to get that bad. See, people, people don't understand that. And this little scare, you know, this so-called pandemic is starting to mess these people's minds up. They're like, whoa, what, what's going on? You know, how can how can they implement these measures? How can they tell me what I can and what I can't do? How can they, you know, stop, you know, jobs? They, they say I can't open up my business. You know, I got to fire all my employees. Okay, and things are only going to get tough. 
All right, we haven't even come into the, you know, the brunt of it. You know, we're not even in the heat of the battle right now. You know, people still have certain liberties. They can still go outside for walks in certain places. Okay? Yet, these measures are going to be tightened more and more as this man implements his new world order. Okay? Now, I want to go back to, um, let me read uh, Romans 15. I want to go back to Second Peter 3 about, you know, these scoffers. And how we know we're in the last days. Because we're we're showing you all these things. And you still have people that don't believe. People people are going. You're going to have scoffers all the way until. And after. This man pushes that chip. You're going to have scoffers. Talking about what we're saying. is not true. Now this is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Were written for our learning. That we through patience. See that word patience and comfort of the scriptures. Might have hope now. The the comforter is the scriptures, and the, the the scriptures they give us comfort and let us know you know how we should move in this society, the way that we should think, where where we should have our faith in. Because those that are going to be without this, they are going to be deceived. Okay, and you might say, oh, I'm not going to take the chip now, or I'm not going to you know I see all these people. On you know the uh, the comment boards of these mainstream media sites, okay. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do this. But see, they they haven't really went through affliction yet. You see that? That's when you're that's when you're really tried. You know, what if there is a a real you know plague where tens and tens of thousand people people are dying. What, ha what happens when there's the famine? See, the famine is going to change a lot of people's mind. And that's one thing Esau is going to use, okay, to get you, okay, first and foremost, to depopulate the earth. But that's part of his agenda, you know, to make you, you beg, beg and scream for that chip, for a solution, any solution. As long as I, I can eat, as long as my children can eat, eat, as long as I can have peace of mind. See, as long as I can have comfort. But you see where it says here that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. See, throughout all these things that are going to befall the planet Earth. All right. The men of the Lord are going to have hope. What 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 is the Lord? The, the men of the Lord's hope is well, the hope is that they are going to be delivered from these things. Because that, that is what is written. If you keep the faith, you see, let me cue another scripture. But uh, as, as as we read in Romans 15, the patience of Job, we read that and we understand what Job went through. And then we can apply that into our daily lives. And we are going to have to apply those things. Everything that we've been taught, the Lord, he's been, you know, putting it through the fire now. OK, to prepare us for the hour of temptation. And we see the hour of temptation coming and we see how Esau through his laws, well, it tells you in Isaiah 10 how this man, he, you know, he creates unrighteous decrees. He's putting all these into and these things into law to basically further limit your restriction. OK, limit the things that you can do. OK, limit, you know, you going across uh, county lines, you going into grocery stores. Or he's coming out to this man. He wants to fully control your ass. So he's going to do it. Yet the Lord is going to deliver us through those things. OK, now I'm back in second Peter three and three. Knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. You got, uh, you know, psilocybin, magic mushroom prophets completely bugged out of their damn mind. Here it is. We should be speaking about, you know, the prophecies. OK, and preparing Israel for the for this perilous time that we're about to enter into. And you have you have Jake's talking about, you know, take mushrooms and get high out of your damn mind and bug the fuck out. Yet th those are, that's that's Satan. See that that's Satan amongst, you know, all the things that are going on. You're going to have Satan there, too. All right. With a with a form of godliness. And you, you know what? You're going to have those. You're going to have some that are going to fall into that thing. OK, but we're, we're here as a, what apologists, you know, apologia. Defend, uh, defenders of the gospel. Okay, we're gonna defend. We're gonna defend those things. Okay, and, and tell you that that's off. 
All right, so the road, the straight gate, okay, the straight gate to the, the to the kingdom of heaven. You see that there's all type of you know, you know, a uh, 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 devastation on each side. You could you you could trip and fall at any given moment, man. If you veer off, you know, from that straight gate, that path of difficulty, because we're coming into a path of difficulty, and how much more those who worship and serve Yah Bashmasha is going to even be even worse. Oh, let me um see. Let me find that scripture. It's in I believe it's in Second Ezra. Yep, yep, second Ezra's. Let me just go to that. Second Ezra's sixteen. And let me see where I'm gonna start. Let me just jump right into it, right? And and you should be reading these scriptures, man. You should get this for yourself. You should learn from the teachers. The Apostle Kabar did a beautiful video about writing down these precepts. Okay, you should write down these precepts. Okay. And you should go over these precepts. You should, uh, you know, I, I like that, that movie. Um, I'm a little all over the place, but excuse me. I like the movie, uh, the book of the book of Eli. And what do you tell? What do you tell that woman? He said, I read, I, I read the book every day. Every day. This should be. A part of your life because you're going I'm telling you you're gonna need these precepts okay you're gonna need that protection okay when when shit gets bad all right when the internet gets t cut off and if you don't believe those things are gonna happen you're totally out of your damn mind okay if you don't believe that there's gonna be actual diseases around here killing people you're out of your damn mind okay if you don't believe that World War three is going to pop off and, and it's gonna send a lot of you you know you able-bodied men here in America, if you don't believe that you're going to get sent to the Middle East, you're out of your goddamn mind. So a lot of, you know, you know, famines, famines coming. Esau's, Esau's literally telling you that there, there's, there's a famine in biblical proportions that's basically brewing right now because of the supply, the supply chain, because of the so-called coronavirus. Okay. So you, so you should be reading this. You should be getting this, and if you and know, and, and 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 you know, you should be teaching this, okay? If the spirit is only to teach, you should be helping out in some form or fashion. If you not, you know, the most I gonna get you, all right? So, because uh, what are you? You, you, what are you? You're not even implementing. A lot of Jakes, they listen to these videos, and they are still the same person. All right, the most I he gonna get you, all right? And that's a promise. Now, Second Ezra 16. Yeah, let me just go right to the point. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon them that fear, upon those that fear the Lord. See? That's why this is called Jacob's trouble. We're in Jacob's trouble, by the way, if you didn't know. Okay? We're not going into Jacob. We're in Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble it's only going to increase. Esau told you that you, you black, Hispanic, Native Americans, you are prime targets for these diseases. Okay. And he, he's looking out for you now. He wants to test you now. He wants to uh, uh, vaccinate you now because you're susceptible to these things. Low income in urban areas. That's basically cold word, cold word for this devil wants to come and destroy you. Okay. That's, that's this man's plan. His plans has always been to destroy his brother Jacob. And these damn devils, man. You got, uh, I don't even want to, you know, let me just continue, let me just continue, man. You know, these damn devils, man. They shall be like madmen. See? That, see, Esau's gonna get into that spirit. He gonna get into his ancient spirit of that hatred for Jacob. Sparing none. See? But, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. See? For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See, you see that? You 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 don't believe that that can happen? Esau through his laws, he gonna be like, look, you you know you got you, your your landlord is gonna be an edict from your landlord, or you you gotta be tested. You gotta have a chip to be in here, okay? 
They're going to they gonna take all your shit away. You're going to lose all your shit. You're going to get casted out of the house. Look, look what just happened to Jake over there in China, man. That is a perfect example. Okay, you had Ham in there too. Maybe, you know, Lord's will, uh, I put the video. If I don't, you know, it is what it is. But basically, you know, them, them, them damn gooks over there, they basically kicked Jake out on the street over there in China. Because you, you had a large population of Jakes over there in China, you know. And what were, and what were they doing? Uh, uh, what, what was uh, Moab doing? They kicked, they kicked them out and, and, and blamed them for having the virus. And they put on their storefronts that they, they're not going to serve them. Okay, and, and the, the landlords are not going to rent to them. So they're literally out on the streets, literally. Okay, not figuratively, literally out on the streets through through the laws of the government. So the same the same rules going to apply now. Okay, you Jake's getting benefits. Uh, uh, Esau allowing you to stay in these homes, and then you know he gonna say, okay, if you want if you want to keep this, you know. These benefits, all right, you're going to have to take this chip. You're going to take this vaccine. I need proof that you're going you know, to bow down and worship me. All right? So it says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. See, then that's what's then. Then that's when it's going to be known who are the chosen of Yah Bashman Shai. Because a lot of you jakes that are saying you won't do this or you won't do that or even the people. You won't do this. You won't do that. Well, when when these start things start to happen, you know a lot of a lot of jakes are going to fold and they're going to take that chip. Okay, and it says, and they shall be tried as the gold, uh, as the gold in the fire. See, here, O oh my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for your power is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift, lift up themselves. So basically the Lord, he's going to guide us. Those who believe, those who are believing now, those who are preparing their minds now. See, you should be preparing your minds now. You should be praying you should be fasting when necessary. You should be tuning into these videos. You should be getting this word for yourself. Okay? Asking the Lord to, you know, guide you through these certain things. You should be keeping his commandments. Okay? Because if you're not doing those things, when it really see, this was a big this is this was a big shake up. See the Lord, he 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 shook you people up with this coronavirus. You Jakes have been lollygagging. So he still has the, the gates of mercy still out there. Okay, and if you don't want to take that, all right, well, shh, you know, I mean, you're going to be the, you're going to be left out there and it's going to be too late. Okay. Now, I want to go to uh, this. Um, let me go. My second Peter's. I mean, I could. Let me see. Now, nah, we're, we're good there. Let me just bring up this scripture. We'll just end it off. Uh, let me start at the top. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust. Yeah, we're supposed to have unwavering trust in Yah Bashamal Shai. Absolute faith in Yah Bashamal Shai that he is going to deliver us from these things. Okay? Yet... What does the scripture say? Faith without works are dead. So you you you're not gonna be confident in that day if you don't actually have the fear of Yah Bashman Shai, which is going to drive you to do the things that he tells you to do. And don't tell me you don't know what to do. We're telling you what to do in every single video that we bring out. Okay? Hundreds of videos are going up every single day. Okay? So if you're not under that secret place of Yahweh Shemashai, you're going to get caught up in all the trickeries and the wiles of the devil. And this coronavirus is one of those things. And this 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 virus has Jake scared. All those well, as my as my grandmother, supposedly you, you trust God, you believe in God, 
you know, Jesus is your savior. He's supposed to, you know, save you from all these things. Where's all that, you know, that Christian, all that Christianity, that shit's getting thrown out the window. And what what are you what are you seeing now? Everybody's scared. Well, isn't isn't the Lord supposed to protect you? That that's the narrative. That's one of the narratives of the scriptures. The Lord protecting those who believe and trust in Him. That faith. See, you see how people's faith. People really didn't have faith. They have a false sense of reality. Okay, Esau, Edom. This this was planned for the beginning. This this Renaissance Christianity. Okay, the white Jesus. Okay, you you gonna you gonna have faith in white Jesus. White Jesus is gonna tell you to take the chip. Okay. See, because you're not built up, you're not built up in sound doctrine. What what does the scripture say? Uh, 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 let me just bring it out. Those who worship the, the true, it talks about the true worshipers. Then at John four, and how you must worship the Most High in sincerity and in truth. I forget how exactly how it goes, but let me uh. Let me pull it up. This is a. Uh, let me let me start at four. John four and twenty one. When you you got to read the whole story to get the context. I'm not going to go into it. Y'all shall said unto her woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know, uh, ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship. See, we know exactly what, who we worship. We know exactly what we are in. And we know exactly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai, we know exactly what's about to happen. Now, we can't give you, okay, a time limit. Okay, this day, this is what's going to happen. Or this day, this is what's going to No, we, we understand the age. Okay, we understand the, the environment that we're in. Okay, the Lord, what did he say? He would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So he's he's opened our eyes. OK, and then we were commanded to do what? To preach upon the mountaintops, to make known these things, to make it plain to the people. Just as I received this, this, this truth through the apostles and elders uh, uh, pushing out this word. Right. That's how I got it. And then, and then, and then that um, the same rules apply to any to the, the Israelites out there. We learned it through teachers. So we understand, and the Spirit starts dealing with you. We understand what we're in. We we are not afraid of these things that are happening. When when I go outside, I'm not afraid of the coronavirus. Okay, I have the fear of Yah Bashem Shai, knowing a hey, Lord, He could hit you with something crazy. Yet, we our hope is what to be delivered. Okay. And to continue and to do his work. Well, there's a scripture. Um, let me bring it out. There's a scripture that proves that. Let me just bring this out. That's in um I believe it's uh Sirach. Give me a second. I mean, it's this Sirach 2. I want to say Sirach 2. Which that whole, I mean, you could read the whole chapter. Well, yeah, let me just read this. Let me just read this. But um, it might be, let me see. Okay, yep, yep. This is it right here. Let me jump down. Now you can read Sirach two. I, I encourage you to read Sirach two, the whole chapter. That's a good. That's a good uh, faith boosting chapter. Okay. Uh, this is Sirach two. Let me start at seven. Let me, oh man. Let me start at six. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. So you got to order your, your way aright. You got to you got to do the right thing. You got to get on that straight and narrow. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. So we we are to wait for Yah Bashmal Shai's mercy. Okay, ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. You have to believe that. Okay, if you do all the things that Yah Bashmal Shai has told you to do, of course, it talks about the righteous man fall of seven times. Yet you are still on that path 
uh, 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 you know, in a straight and narrow, you know, still trying to do the right things, okay? You know, having a good heart towards Yah Bash he's not gonna he not gonna look down upon that, okay? It says, believe him and your reward should not fail. What is your reward? Your reward is salvation. It's uh, you know, salvation from all the things that are gonna come to the planet Earth. Okay, you're gonna be protected from all those things. Okay? Not only that, you are gonna inherit ever everlasting life and be part of the first fruits of, uh, uh, of the kingdom of heaven. And that and that's gonna be that's going to far outweigh all the things that we're going to go through, okay? Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. See, hope for good. See, our, our hope is, is good. We hope for good. We understand. We fear the Lord. We know the Lord can do certain things to us, but we are hoping for good. See that? There's a, there's a thin line. Well, it talks about rejoice with trembling. And, and and for everlasting joy and mercy, see? That's what we're asking for, that everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? See? Well, that's it on that. We can we can continue. But that's it on that. So if you if you believe and trust and call on that name, okay, in sincerity and truth, I gotta go back to John. The Lord is going to save you, but you got to know what you're into. You got to know what's going on. Okay. And we're telling you what's going on. John four and uh, let me start at 22 again. Ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Yeah, the Israelites. But the hour, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And you see that we are worshiping the Father in spirit and truth. We're the true worshipers. And you're going to see who the true worshipers are when all these things start coming to pass. People start getting put to death. Okay. People's minds start going crazy. People start killing themselves. Okay. And then you're going to see a man of the Lord. Okay. And you're going to see there's going to be a clear difference. Okay. Between that man and... OK, and, you know, the rest of the people, you, it, it, the, the Lord said he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. OK, and you don't go and see gold. OK, gold is very hard to obtain. OK, you got to know where it's at. You got to have the right equipment. You got to know how to, you know, wield it down. Smelt it down, excuse me. OK, then there, then there's there's levels to gold. OK. It says the most high is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So, you know, you have these Christians, you have these people that believe in God, believe in God, a higher power. See, you, you, man, you scoffers, you scorners, all those who came against this word, which you came against. Yah you didn't come against us. We're nobodies. We're just messengers. All those who came against this word and say, oh, I, I have my God. You know, I believe in this. I believe in that. All that shit going to get thrown out the window. Because your God, your power is not going to save you from these things that are going to come to the earth. OK, the only power that's going to be able to save you is Yah Basham al Shai. And even then, you got to be on his good side. OK, you got to be one of his servants in order for him to protect you. See, when it was uh, fine and dandy, when Satan was allowing you to do certain things. OK, you, you talk all the time. You was talking mad shit. OK. But it's going to come a point, it's going to come a point in time when all that's going to get thrown out the window. And we see that. We see where we actually see the the extreme fear on you people's eyes. Scared, scared to, you know, go outside. You have people that are scared to go outside. OK. I mean, I can go on and on. I'm, I'm rambling too much. Let me go back into uh, uh, Psalms 91. All right. And I'm pretty much going to end it off here. And let the spirit move. You know, hey, we're we're in beautiful times. We're in frightening times. Yet, you know, that fear should not overtake you because if you are constantly cleaving to Yah Basham Al Shai, He's gonna comfort you. Okay, He's gonna comfort you, and He's gonna tell you that, hey, look, don't worry about these things. I'm I'm, I'm doing these things. I'm setting these things up because ultimately, who's doing these things on the planet Earth? Who has a lockdown right now? Who's telling you to wear mask? Okay. Through Esau. Okay. 
Who 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 has this this damn devil basically telling he gonna chip you? Who has this damn devil basically telling you you gotta be afraid? Well, it's the Lord. But if you understand what's going on and you 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 know the Lord has opened your mind your mind up and has shown you to it has led you to this truth. You should you should be comforted, man. These words comfort us. When we go outside, we see these people all bugged out of their damn mind. I, I was in a uh, Trader Joe's picking up some stuff. Um, you know, uh, picking up some stuff for, you know, some food, you know, the cook, which, you know, you got to plan that out nowadays, you know, with, you know, with the schedule. I just can't go to the store. All right. What the, the area that I'm in? All right. You, I got to kind of go out of the way, you know, certain stores, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 have lines. And then a lot of those stores, they gonna have lines because at one point certain stores didn't have lines, then they got lines. So I was in a Trader Joe's. And, you know, now there's a line to go into that Trader Joe's, you know, and I'm seeing everybody. And then, you know, I have my uh, I didn't have my mask on. It was kind of on my neck. And then you have one in the point, you know, I'm standing outside the line. There's a line six feet. You know, we all we everybody should know that. Right. You know, you're in a line to go in the grocery store and they came up to me. Oh, you got to have your mouth. Oh, I got my, I got my mask on. You know, I'm, pl I'm playing the game, playing the game with Esau. It's, it's no big deal. Play the game with this damn devil. He gonna come with more draconian laws, and we gonna play the game until the niggas say, "I want to inject it with something," and then that's what we gonna say. Now, nah, take take my shit, do what you gotta do. We ain't gonna take the chip, okay? That's the uh, the mindset that we're in, but that's using wisdom. But go back to the story. I'm literally seeing the fear in everybody's eyes, okay? I'm literally seeing the fear in everybody's, eyes. and I'm looking at people like, "Yeah, they gonna they gonna take the chip, man." I'm seeing Ishmael. I'm seeing all these different nations. I'm, you know, I'm seeing Jake. Jake all bugged out of their goddamn mind. People scared. People uh, uh, putting hand sanitizer on, spraying the carts. Scared, scared to get close to people. The Esau got these people right where he wants them in a state of fear. Why? Because that fear is going to be one of his ways of, you know, you accepting you know, um, you know, basically his his agenda, you know, his mark. Well, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different movies where it talks about I'd rather be I'd rather be feared than loved, you know. Because because fear will make people do a lot. of Well, that's what the Lord does. He uses fear. So Esau is using that fear also, but on the left hand side. See, you can use fear on the right hand side and you can use fear on the left hand side. And we know that this damn devil, he using everything on the left hand side. Don't believe anything this damn devil tells you. He's. This dude is the devil. Okay. I'm over here seeing. Watching Bill Gates. He's all talking. And, I, and, I, and I've dealt with lots of Edomites. And I've dealt with the so called Jew. And, I, and I, these Edomites that are real affluent. Or believe they, they're affluent. You know have some money. And, and, and you know have businesses. Making you know clocking in millions. And I speak to them. And they you know they speak to me. And they say a whole bunch of shit. And try to make themselves sound, you know, real intellectual, but they ain't saying shit. Or you can see what they're saying through all the bullshit they're saying. They try to use big words and talk real fast. That's all witchcraft, man. But you know what? The the simple they believe that. What does the scripture say? The simple believe of every word. See, the simple of our people they believe everything that this damn devil is uh, of saying. Yet when when we come out and we we read the scriptures you don't even believe that see so that's going to be to your uh your destruction let me go back to the scriptures so like i was talking too much um psalms 91 and 2 i will say of the lord yabash mashai he is my refuge and my fortress my power in him will i trust so we're going to trust the lord not this damn devil okay death to you edomites surely he Shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Yeah, the Lord, He's gonna deliver us from the thermonuclear missiles. Remember, everybody's talking about COVID 19. Remember, the thermonuclear missiles are, hit, are gonna come too. All right? <laughs> ain't nothing but pure hell coming to this earth. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. So this truth. That's going to be our shield and our buckler. That's going to defend us. Okay, to all those who who don't believe that this truth is, is, is worth anything, you will watch. 
you're going to see you're going to see that this truth is going to be the highest level commodity on the planet earth which this truth is going to be placed this truth is going to be placed inside the men of Yah Basham Mashai's mind okay you ain't going to be able to just go turn on the video or go down to the camp nah the, the Lord is going to make that man okay uh uh um that that's been you know gathering up this this knowledge wisdom understanding he gonna make that man precious because his truth is precious he gonna make what well, he gonna make the man a shield okay you, you think i'm lying let me let me bring on the scripture let me just prove that the lord's gonna make a man a shield okay he's gonna make a man a defense in that day okay because they have that man has taken and um uh 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 you know has laid up you know this truth inside their minds okay uh let me bring the scripture out it just escaped me but i'm gonna I'm get it uh give me one second let me bring it up yep isaiah 32 and 2 and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. That wind is talking about the destruction. Because it's going to come a time where you're not going to be able to study. Study, you, you're not going to study. You're not going to be able to have your Bible. You're not going to be able to go into Hebrew. You're not going to be able to go and, 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 and say the water for the water for the edification. The water, brother. Good, good, good video. Your pop. You're not going to be able to do that. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to implement these things that you should be learning right now. Okay. Yet the Lord, He gonna make that man who has been doing that. He gonna make him a hiding place from the wind, and that's why everybody's going to get a, everybody's going to be attracted. Okay, to the men of the Lord. Okay, and, and we start we we're starting to see that now. Okay, we were the you know the 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 the, the dross of this society, the undesirables of this society. See the Lord, He deal with the uh, the underdog story, and we see that clearly. The Lord, He gonna elevate us on a level, all right. And you gonna have, and through the Spirit, you gonna you gonna come you gonna come to us, all right. That's just the way that this, that's not saying that we did. I didn't do anything. That's just the way that the story is being played out. Okay. You're gonna see the real commodities, the real treasures on the earth, all right. Not it's not gonna be a Tesla. It's not gonna be you know uh you know uh uh uh, uh you you are entertainer. Okay, it's not gonna be that you know you were a, a a basketball player, or or you had a lot of money. That's that's gonna get done away with. It's gonna be you you being a man of the Lord. Okay, because it tells it tells you that the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. It tells you that the the men are gonna they're gonna be you know you know basically you know as women, you know, grabbing on their loins you know as a woman in travail. That's how bad it's gonna get. You think a man of the Lord gonna be doing that? No, the man of the Lord gonna be solid. Okay? I don't know how the Lord gonna do it, but a man of the Lord mind is gonna be solid in that day. Alright? Why everybody else is is gonna be totally confused. And a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So rivers of water in a dry place, you know, it's a famine. You know, you out in the desert, a, a river of water, that's that's literally life saving. OK. OK, a shadow, uh, a, a great rock to shield you from, you know, you go to Australia when, the, the you know, it's 120, 130 degrees. And you go somewhere shade, it can drop down the, the you know, the, the Fahrenheit, the degree dramatically. So that's how a man of the Lord is going to be as a covert from the tempest, a hiding place. You're going to be protected, a man of the Lord. Okay, and that's why people are going to flock to the men of the Lord. Right now, they ain't doing it, but it's going, but it's starting to happen. It will happen. That's the prophecy, right? That That's just what it is. That's the prophecy. It's either you get with it or you get lost, right? You accept it or you reject it, all right? That's just the way it is. Uh, I'm back in Psalms 91. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Yeah, we're not afraid of these things. We're not afraid of anything this damn devil has to offer. Okay, coronavirus, a different virus, it mutated, you know, the bubonic plague, 
you know, a, a tornado, you know, a, a earthquake. Any, you know, this man's locking us up in prison. So be it. We got to go through those things. That's how that's our mindset. Hey, look, look we just look, we just got to go through. We got to go through that tough part. In order to, in order to get to the, in order to get to that, uh, you know, the, the land of milk and honey, basically the kingdom of heaven. Because you know what, Esau, you're going to make your move, but the Lord's making his moves already. The Lord told you to make a move. All right, you're being set up. So we understand that concept of Esau being set up. And we understand the concept that the underdog is going to win. The Israelites. Okay. The elect of Israel. Two thirds, you're going to be destroyed. The Most High is getting you out of there. And he's going to do it by the hand of Esau, man. You Jake that don't have, you you rejected Yah Bashem Shai, he's rejecting you right now. And, and that's why you're in a state of awestruck. And you're going you're gonna to go out and you're going to riot. Okay? Because you're going to be hungry. And you're going to be mad. And Esau, he's going to put you to death. Yet the Lord, we're not going to be, the Lord is going to put the spirit on us to not to be afraid of these things. That's what the scripture is saying right now. I t well, I talk to any, I, you know, we hang around the brothers, you know, we still link up. We ain't, we're not afraid. We're, we're laughing and scoffing at this man Esau and how sloppy he is. Okay, and laughing and scoffing on how you Jakes are done. Okay, it's it for you. This is it. Kiss, kiss America goodbye. All right, it's done. Kiss, you know, the folly and the games. Kiss it goodbye. It's nothing but heartache and and just just terror for now on. Okay. Esau's Esau's pushing his new war order, and you niggas, it's either you gonna get with it or you gonna get put to death. That's how Esau feel about it. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flayeth by day, nor for the pestilence. Is not the COVID-19 a pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but, but it shall not come nigh thee. And see, you're going to understand that. That it's going to be, uh, um, you know, it's going to be a, a miraculous thing. I'm trying to find a word. It's going to be a divine intervention because you're going to see all type of people dying. Yet the men of the Lord, they, they're not going to be dying. And not only are they not going to be dying, they're going to be level headed. OK, smiling, drinking, you know, eating. You know, their continence is not going to be their visage is not going to be all messed up. But you people bitch is going to be messed up. You, you, your body's going to be messed up. You're not going to be able to you're not going to have water for days. You might eat every couple of days. You might escape the home invasion, you know, and then, then you hear uh, then you see a man of the Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me continue. It says a thousand shall fall at thy side and then <laughs> and then a thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. See those. It's not going to come nigh to those who trust and believe in y'all. Basham Yao Shai. That's bottom, bottom damn line. Okay. And we we make a light of this. This is you know, you gotta have, you gotta have fun with this thing. We at we at the end of the world and we ain't worried about that. We 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 know we we gonna go through hard times. We already in hard times, man. We we already went through hard times in our sla in our past lives, slavery, you know, Egypt, all these different captivities. Yeah, we know that this is gonna be the hardest time. Yet yeah, you know, but the Lord He's preparing our minds now. OK. This is a serious thing, man. This ain't this ain't a joke. The most high about to destroy a lot of people, man. The Lord sent his sword in Esau. He sent this nigga in to kill a lot of people. Don't you see this nigga on TV talking about the COVID this, the COVID that is killing people. This nigga's actually killing. He's he's telling people to come if you have a symptom and he puts you in a ventilator. He's actually killing you. He's sticking a, a damn swab up your nose. What do you think he's doing that for? Why, why would you have to do that? And you people don't even question these things. You just go with the flow. So that's how we know he's going to chip a large population of, of the people. And he's going to kill off a lot of, a large population of the people. And these things are starting to be more evident. Oh, see, the, we, were, we were talking crazy and mad from our possum elders. We were mad men. We were conspiracy theory. There is now these things are starting to be mainstream. So what are you going to do? Huh? Jake's a bullshitter. 
Only, this is the point, only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So, uh, you know, let me, let me, uh, let me um, actually end it off on this scripture. Because we're going to see the reward of this damn devil. See, look, the Lord is going to deliver us from all these things. From every, everything that this damn devil has to offer to try to place upon us, the Lord is going to deliver us from it. He's going to give us spiritual power. We believe that. We know that. That's what's going to happen. Okay? So we are actually excited that we are finally at the end of this thing. Okay? Throughout all our past, you know, um, reincarnations. Lord, is it, is it this time? Is it this time? We're actually, it's this time. Okay? We're, and then we're going to have the power. And then we're going to beat this, this damn devil to a pulp. Okay? Yet we got to go through this little tribulation. Yet the, the scriptures tell us that that the sufferings, uh, uh, the sufferings are not to be compared. So whatever we little bullshit we go through, our light of fiction is not going to be compared to the, the, the glory that's going to be revealed in us. OK. So hey, our, our mindset is, hey, man, bring this damn chip in. Or right, get these popping. All right. Man, man uh, mandated. All right. Tell us that we can't, you know, go to the grocery store. Well, the Lord said he's going to redeem us in famine. So, you know, you have no power over us, Esau. All right. The, the, uh, yo, come lock us up. Well, the Lord said, be patient. You should have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death and I shall give you a crown of life. So what, what do you have to offer? OK. Esau. You're going to be destroyed. That's how you and you know your plan ain't going to work. You damn devil. But let me just re bring this out. And I'm going to close it up. I'll be here all day. This is uh, Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that has joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So it's a beautiful thing. It's a happy thing. Okay. It's a beautiful. You know, we, you know, we, you know, we always been catching hell. We're going to catch hell regardless. We're still catching hell. Yet the Lord, he's brighten, he's brighten, he's brighten, brightening up, excuse me, sorry, brightening up, okay, our spirit because we, we are that much closer. We see it. We literally see what this damn devil's doing. We see the mark of the beast right there. We've been speaking about it, okay? And that's, and that's damn near one of the last prophecies, okay, until this, until uh, Yah Bashem Shai come and destroy this damn devil, all right? So it's a beautiful time, you know, for those who fear Yah Bashem Shai, okay? And it's also a fearful time. Yet we should not be fearful. We should, you know, the spirit of Yah Bashem Shai is going to over, you know, uh, uh, supersede that spirit of fear, which has come from Satan, okay? So I pray that you brothers were edified with this lesson, you know, and a few women that uh, watched the, the, the shows, you know. Well, uh, you know, we're we're in that time. This is serious time. It's not no time to be joking, lollygagging, going back into the world. It's the wrong. It's the wrong time to be going back to the world. This is the time to be tightening shit up, straight up. This is the time to be really tightening things up and getting right with y'all, Bashmal Shai. Okay. So I pray you, brothers, for edify.